Today, I'm going to show you how to replace threads that's been stripped out. See, this bolt was stripped out of this piece of aluminum. I drilled out my hole oversized by at least an eighth of an inch to give this rod room to work around here. So here's the first step. I'm going to put a piece of steel back here for a backing. Now I have my bolt clamped into the center of this hole, leaving enough room so my rod can work in around there so I can work the thread rod in around the threads. Now I have to heat up my aluminum to 735 degrees. When it hits 735 degrees, the rod will melt. The pores are open, and I'll be able to fill this hole and reform these threads. And I gotta get the bolt hot too. Now I do not put this rod in or near the flame, I just heat my aluminum. When the, alum the, rod, the aluminum melts the rod, I know the pores are open and we're at the correct temperature. Okay, I've been heating this for about five minutes. You've got to let the rod be melted by the aluminum. It just did. So it hit 735 degrees. See that? Now, I know I'm at the right temperature. I can start putting the rod around the threads and filling that with, filling the hole with rod. That's why you have that oversized hole. But it's really important you let the aluminum get hot enough to melt the rod. It took me five minutes to get to this point. And I bought this product from aluminum-weld.com. The video will be on there, on their website, as well as many other instructions such as bolt prop, butt joints, and so forth. I'm gonna overfill this hole with the rod. And we're gonna let it slow cool. Let me have a rod here. And we're gonna let it slow cool and I'm gonna break these, these uh, threads loose. Now the reason we can do this is the rod sticks to everything a magnet will not stick to. That's a steel bolt in there. I'm gonna wrap that a little bit All right. You gotta work that, make sure you work it in around the threads so the rod doesn't flow. I think I got it in there pretty well. Okay. We're gonna let this cool. When it cools, we'll take a wrench, break it loose, and have a brand new set of threads. Our thread repair is cooled. We'll take a wrench now and break it loose and we just form a brand new set of threads that are seven to eight times stronger than the ones that stripped out of their original. And there they are. All we have to do is clean them up. And off the threads. burrs and there's our threads. Pretty slick, huh? Save you lots of time and money. HTS HTS 735 from aluminum-weld.com. You can see.